Tell me, tell me how it is you came to know uh, Rob O'Neill. Years ago when we were little kids, uh, we were friends growing up mainly because grew up in the same town and uh, around the same age. So, you know, his, his mom and my mom were really good friends and, and worked out at a local gym and played racquetball together. And that's how we kind of started being friends and, and it kind of just went from there. When you heard this news uh, from your friend that he is telling people that he was the one who fired that fatal shot uh, at Bin Laden, what what'd you think? You know, I go back to the day, I guess, when it happened, you know, like most people, uh, it was uh, it was odd. We were at a, I was at a training conference here in Montana for tactical officers. And, uh, you know, we all found out about it. And like any proud American, I was I was, you know, I felt uh, pride in it, not knowing anything about what SEAL shot him or I just knew, you know, like anybody else did that some, you know, SEAL Team 6 and we started hearing all that over the news. So. I, you know, just uh, I, was, I was proud about it at the time, and you know, now coming to find out that he was, you know, possibly the shooter, that uh, it's, you know, there, there is a lot of pride with it for sure. It's neat to know the guy, but I think at the end of the day, I, I you know, he's getting a lot of the uh, attention, but there was a lot of people that put their heart and soul into capturing him. It wasn't just him, you know, it was a whole team of guys and hundreds of other people and, and military, period. What did you say to him when, when you found out that this documentary was coming out and you found out that your friend uh, was the one who pulled the trigger? I told him I was, I was proud of him and, uh, you know, I'm proud of all what he's done, though. You know, not just that mission, just anything he's done for our country. I was very grateful for. Um, but that goes for anybody that serves our country. I'm very grateful for. So your friend is coming under a lot of criticism from uh, some of the military brass and even some of the some of the former Navy SEALs who say that it, you know, this is not something that Navy SEALs brag about. What do you say about that? I'm not going to pretend to be a Navy SEAL. And I know like anybody else, you know, they've always had that, you know, secrecy code that they have. But, you know, he's not the first SEAL to come out with any kind of information. You know, there's been many SEALs that wrote books and movies. He's not even the first guy to come out about this mission. So I, I could understand completely from the military's perspective why they'd be upset. You know, I, I, he's not one of the, the friend that would you know, we would advise each other of things like that. I mean, we're not that close to where he'd call me and say, hey, man, I'm thinking about doing this. What do you think? It was it was never discussed. So if that's what you feel he needs to do, you know, I, I support him in it. And, uh, you know, he, he's going to have to face, you know, the music with, you know, his teammates or, you know, the military. You know, I, I don't know what to, what to tell him on that.